Yeah, we next are going to be talking to Bud Wright uh, with Ferguson, and he's going to be discussing Park Harbor lighting with us. Um, and we're rolling right along today. There's not that nice five minute break because everyone's so excited. So once Bud is here and ready to go, we're going to start this presentation. Just um, again, just a quick recap if you're just joining us. I'm Megan with Synergy Sales, uh, representing NKBA. My co-host today is Shelly with Cambria, representing IDS. Uh, again, please utilize the chat and Q&A function. Uh, we love getting the feedback and hearing what you guys think of things. And if you've got questions along the way, we want to hear that, of course. Um, so, but I see you on there. Do you have a camera? Or are we going to be graced with your lovely face today? Well, let's see if I can figure that part out. Where is my camera? And actually, while you do that, I'm actually going to introduce Bud. Uh, I'm guessing many of you guys know Bud Wright, but Bud Wright has been with Ferguson for 13 years. Bud is currently the showroom manager and lighting manager at Ferguson. He's also a graduate of the Art Institute's interior design program. So he's He's vanished now. <laughs> Am I gone? <laughs> I mean, your camera's on, but we don't see you. We just see your office. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Now we see you. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry. I have two cameras and I never know which one's going to work. How's that, you guys? Okay. Sorry about that. How's that? Does that work? We can now see your lovely face. We appreciate that. Good morning. I have a Good tough morning. act to follow with Dan Johnson and Toto oh. Toilet. So here we go on to Ferguson and lighting. So, I mean, lighting's a little prettier than, you know, Talking about toilet and debris and waves, so there you go. <laughs> I well, think you can do it, bud. I think we can. Thanks. Well, as Megan said, um, uh, I'm actually the Seattle showroom manager, and uh, I do all the lighting for Ferguson for the Johnson District, which is Washington, Idaho, Oregon, Alaska, Montana, and Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So I have 20 showrooms that I oversee as far as training, uh, displays, and working with all the manufacturers to bringing in lighting. So. Park Harbor, for those of you that are or are not familiar with it, is Ferguson's own brand. We own the company and we've been involved with Park Harbor for about seven or eight years now. And we've come out with some new releases, which are really great. And I'm really excited to show these. So other uh, competitors have their own brands, but Park Harbor's is specifically to Ferguson. So you can either purchase it through our showrooms or our online platform, which is build.com through Ferguson, which is a Ferguson company. You can buy Park Harbor on there also. So, so but move. before we uh, get going with Park Harbor, I was going to throw out a poll for everyone so we can kind of gauge uh, designers. So let me launch the poll, everyone. So the question is, at what point during the design process do you talk to your clients about decorative lighting? So you bring it up at the first design meeting. It usually comes up somewhere in the middle, maybe with cabinet hardware and paint colors. It's an afterthought or last minute decision or you let your clients find their own decorative lighting on build.com after the project is complete. So I'll give you a few seconds to answer that. Let's get a few more in. It's just kind of gauging. I mean, obviously there's an answer we'd prefer to see, but <laughs> again, there's no right, there's no wrong or right answers though. Okay, we're actually doing pretty good. Let me get a few more in, if we can get a couple more people to do it. Okay, I'm going to end this poll. So it's not, not bad. It usually comes up somewhere in the middle. 59% um, of people are typically doing it somewhere in the middle, maybe around the cabinet hardware and paint color. So not the first thing, but definitely it is brought up before the end of the project. So that's good. Oh, I guess I didn't. Sorry. That's there okay. You now you that's can see the results. <laughs> and I'm going to, you know, uh, fall safe and say, I do appreciate the designers that say, I try to bring it up in the first design meeting. So it's just one of those things to add into the palette, whether you're working on, you know, plumbing, lighting, appliances, or whatever you're working on. It's nice to bring up the lighting because I found so many times that people will look at the big ticket items, uh, i.e. appliances or that Toto toilet for X amount, and then decide that their lighting budget has been knocked down a lot. So a lot of times I like to bring it up in advance or at the first meeting. So they're aware that, you know, the budget, it, you need a X amount budget for a project. So, and just to have one or two key pieces. Um, these are new to us. We do not have them in the showrooms yet. And uh, they're gonna be released 
into the showroom. So we should have them on display early uh, December, which are the peach grove pendants. And I think they're really cool with that combination of the polished chrome and the matte black finish, kind of a contemporary utility look to it. And the, uh, I don't have the scale on them, but I think they're about 20 inches long by about 18 wide, if I remember correctly. Duxford Pendant. Uh, this is going to be released into the showrooms for display in December also. Has that um, you know mid-century modern look, which a lot of people are going for, or we've been known, uh, we have them in a couple of display pictures that are not on here, unfortunately. We have two of them over an island in a kitchen also because of all the you know aged bronze, brass, and black that's going on in the design world right now. Someone have a question? If I was gonna say, but yeah, if along the way, if you would just continue to let us know where designers can see these in person, I know they would love that. I've, uh, so the ones I was gonna, the ones uh, that come up that I know are in showrooms, I'll let you know. These okay. are gonna be, uh, hopefully by the middle of December, these will be in the Seattle, Bellevue, Spokane, Tacoma, Portland, Lake Oswego, and uh, Boise showrooms by the end of December. Perfect. And I would also love personally to know which ones are your personal favorites. <laughs> it's always fun to guess what you like the best. <laughs> well, you know me, I'm kind of quirky, so. <laughs> so you're going to die laughing. This is the Blackthorn pendant. And I love this fixture. It's really simplistic and it can be used, you know, in a room over a desk like this, real simple setting, or three of them over an island, uh, staggered three all together in a, uh, multi-funk you know multi-stairwell at different levels would be really kind of cool also so i can see it going real contemporary or that mid-century modern look to it also so the scancola pendant this is really fun real simplistic it's just one of those items that's trending now and it's being done in the matte black which is a real strong finish and uh the matte black finish has done really well for us with the park harbor lights also and the thing that's fun about this, you can change the lamping, the light bulb. So you can do something like this, or I've got some in the showroom that I'm going to use that have like the mercury bottom on it. So you can see the light coming out, but not down into your face as you're dining, which would be kind of a cool look too. I see on chat, is someone asking questions? I'm sorry, I was just checking. Oh, no, we'll, we'll interrupt or get to them okay. at the end. They're just, they're just saying how they like things and it's pretty. Okay. Oh, that's fine, <laughs> thanks. So... The oak bank pendant. So this is a combination of like the mica and the black um, uh, metal to hold it into place. And I just think this is really cool piece. It's about 21 inches wide and it runs about 14 inches high and it has three different down rods on it. So you've got a 12, 18 and 24, so it can hang fairly low down if you'd like. But I just think this is a fun piece. I've not seen it in person, just the prototypes. So I'm anxious to get it into the showrooms and see how it's received by, um, uh, designers and customers. And then just but out of curiosity, do some of these pendants have coordinating sconces that go with them? Or? Well, most, thank you. That's a great question. Oh. So far, the pieces you've seen are just individual specialty pieces. Okay. So okay. a couple that we're going to be coming up on will have coordinating sconces with them. Excellent. And I love this one. This is fun. So this is more of our designer series. There, So it's the one-off, the two-off, so it's not a whole collection. So, which is kind of fun. So it sets us uh, that whole collection aside from competitors or what someone else is doing out there also. So the Fox Point Linear Pendant, I think this is really haughty. You know, that's a technical term at Ferguson. So it just, I, it, and if I remember correctly, I think it's 30 inches long and it's about 12 inches high. And it does have a slope ceiling canopy adapter on it, but it's just a beautiful piece done with the linen shade and the aged bronze on the outside. So once again, this is one that does have a whole collection to it. And then the foyer pendant comes in, I think three different sizes, and this is the larger of the three. So it's just got those sinuous lines going through it, which I think are real fun. Can be used either, you know, in an entrance coming in like this, could be used uh, stairwell, over a dining table. I'd love to see a couple of them over a huge island in the kitchen area also. And then you could take a smaller one for your um, dining area adjacent to your kitchen. 
So the Van Nord pendant, this thing came out um, about six months ago and the Bellevue showroom, Laura Tomlin's the manager over there, she does have this on display. And it's a blue velvet with the aged bronze and a crystal uh, finial ball on the bottom. And it's a beautiful pendant. So you have all the lights shining when you look up into it or out and about, but it's not you know, blatantly in your face as far as the light goes. And it is about 28 inches in diameter and it's a beautiful fixture. I do not have it in the other showrooms yet, but Bellevue does have it on display if you'd like to stop by and look at it there. So the Malin pendants, these are fun. Uh, we have these, I think in 18 of our 20 showrooms in all five states. and. They come with different um, standoffs. So you can do them at different lengths. You can put them close together like this. The Bellevue showroom has them in their front window, staggered left to right, up to down. Uh, we have them in almost all the showrooms, but I just think they're kind of fun. You can open the side and change the bulbs inside. Right, the last holiday season, we did red and green uh, bulbs in them. So it was kind of fun. So they're just kind of a fun pendant to play with. Great for a kid's playroom, for a young girl's bedroom. Uh, they can be used in a stairwell also, just fun to play with. Kind of a whimsical piece, I think. The Kleindale pendant. So this is all rock crystal. And this thing, I think, has a hanging weight of about 50 pounds. So it's going to max out your junction box. But these are all individual crystals. And I did dress one of these in the Lake Oswego showroom about eight months ago. It took me about seven hours. It's a beautiful fixture done with the aged gold. It's just, uh, and I think the circumference across is about 26 inches and it's about 18 inches hall, tall, excuse me. But it, it's, it's a gorgeous fixture. We're hoping to have this in the Bellevue and Seattle showrooms in January. And I do have it also in the Portland showroom at this point, nothing locally, but I will have it soon. But it, it's a real beautiful fixture. And the rock crystals are just absolutely gorgeous on this piece. Yeah, that's beautiful. So do you, you had to actually, put every single rock crystal on that? They send little white gloves and you sit here and put each piece on <laughs> and you know, so, you know, because they're all different levels. Yeah, so you get to dress it. And that's what people don't understand. It's great to get these beautiful fixtures and designers are great at ordering these things, but you know, people need to be cognizant of the fact that when you hire that electrician, they're gonna have to dress that fixture, put all those pieces together, or, you know, the designer's gonna have to explain to them in advance. There may be some, you know, time hour wise spent uh, yeah. putting these things together. It's beautiful though. It is a beautiful piece. So these are the Andrea wall sconces. So this is a complete collection. And what I love about this is the aged bronze and it also comes in a matte black finish. And depending on the light bulb, the lamping you put in it, you can use an LED, you can use a retro bulb, you can do something clear or a white A lamp bulb. It just changes the look of it all together. Um, I have I do not have these on display in the showrooms here. They're in Portland, Lake Oswego and Bend. I have all these showrooms in my head, it's scary. Um, this is a complete collection. So as we switch the Andreo um, uh, chandelier is in the showrooms here in Bellevue and Seattle and Tacoma. The, uh, the one to the left in the matte black we have in the showrooms. The linear pendant, I do not have in the showrooms yet. We're doing some remodeling here in Seattle and hopefully the 1st of January, we're remodeling our GE monogram section. We'll be putting one, two of these in that section. So I think it'll look really sharp with the new layout that we're doing for the displays. So that was the and last that, one. So um, down at the bottom there, it shows that Andreo, the combination, whether the aged bronze or the matte black. They are great sconces and very utilitarian. You could use them in you know, a powder room if need be, or even in a stairwell. Yeah. I love it. I wish I could qualify for them. Beautiful, bud. I love Thanks. it. It's uh, a great collection. I'm really proud of the product. I think it's very well done. Yeah, and so now, but so Park Harbor, how long has Ferguson had Park Harbor? Is it a newer collection for you guys? Or? The, the company itself, Park, we've had for about seven years. Okay. And so we've gone through some retooling is getting the company uh, where we want it and price point and everything. So it's more of a designer collection. It is strictly a Ferguson build.com brand. And um, those are the only places to buy it at this point. Um, we do own Millennium Lighting also, which is a le lesser company, more of a builder grade that we use. And the Park Harbor, I use it for entire homes when I'm putting places together. 
in um, Lake Oswego, I, I did an apartment complex of 200 and we did it through the whole complex, but it has some few finite pieces like the big rock crystal, which are great for that designer area because that fixture is a little more money than the others. So it's nice to pick and choose just to have those designer pieces to go to. And so if you're putting a whole package together here at Ferguson, you can take those Park Harbor pieces and it's like, they're not gonna be shopped everywhere else on the internet or at my competitors. So it's a good thing. And then um, I know you guys are open. Will you just let everyone know your guys' so, schedule for COVID? And all the showrooms in Washington and Oregon. I'll leave it at that. Idaho still has some of theirs um, shut down. I know the Boise, the big store is open. Their outline stores are still by appointment only due to staffing. Uh, but the majority of the showrooms here, here in Seattle and Bellevue and Tacoma and Portland, we're open 10 to 5, Monday through Friday. And we do have appointments. You can do booking uh, journey, booking bug online, go to shop.ferguson and book appointments if you'd like. We do require masks unless there's a medical reason that you cannot. Um, we are supplying gloves as people come in. Um, we do wipe things down hourly. We check things. We have sheets where we, we, all of my associates are temperature checked and ask questions every morning before they enter the building, along with purveyors that do come in, the few that we do let in at this point, delivery people, et cetera. So we do invite designers or people off the street. We are open to the general public, but we do really take the COVID very seriously at Ferguson um, here locally and nationally. Um, the stringent, uh, yeah, we do a lot of cleaning. I don't think I've ever cleaned my house as much as I have this showroom. But um, we do require masks and we do offer gloves for everyone that comes in and we do have masks available, but we'd love for you to come in. You, if you do come in and you find little yellow sticky notes on a uh, product as you're walking through, whether it's a Brizo faucet or my Park Harbor light fixture, it means that a customer may have touched it. So it's just a follow-up for one of my consultants to go through the showroom with the uh, Clorox wipes and wipe everything down. So, but we are open 10 to five Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday, we're open 10 to five for browsing. We do not have appointments available on Saturday, but feel free to come in. Um, and we used to do cookies and coffee and everything, but due to COVID, we are offering bottled Ferguson water at this point with nothing else, sorry. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. So I think most people are probably very excited about this raffle. Uh, again, as Shelly said, I'm a little envious. I know. Either. <laughs> I know. Why in the world are we a part of this, Megan? Jeez. I know. I'm kind of debating, though. Do I like the map? Or do I like the black or the aged bronze better? It's a hard one. It is. So tough. this, it's kind of funny. You had asked me about the raffle, and I got together with Laura Tomlin and Bellevue, and we're like, "What should we do?" And we decided on the wall sconce. And I said, "This isn't really fair. You can ask her this." I said, "I want the matte black ones for my new house. I think they look really <laughs> sharp, so they'll probably end up in there." But I th thought it was unfair that I couldn't join the raffle today. So. <laughs> we all agree. We all want these sconces. Yeah. All right. So I have the Magic Spin the Wheel app, and I have taken some time here while you were presenting, Bud, to put everybody's name on this wheel. So Great. we're going to spin it now, and whoever's name comes up, I'm just going to ask you to use the raise your hand feature so I know you're still with us, so you are eligible to win these gorgeous sponsors. So here we go. Or not. There we go. Da -da -da. Hey, Lucy Johnson. Lucy, are you with us? If you are, yeah, you your hand. perfect. All right. Congratulations, Yay. Lucy. We're jealous. Lucy, so we'll connect you with Buds. So you can decide black or aged bronze. Very exciting. Thank you so much, Bud. Well, yeah, thank Bud, you for the time. Wonderful. And uh, always, you are an excellent sponsor to NKBA, so we greatly appreciate that. And for thank you guys. Do you do a lot for our showroom, and we appreciate um, the business that we do together. So thank you for all of that. Of course. Thank you for taking the time with us.